Yo, what's up guys, this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the dark faced AOS IP ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Yes, a lot of you guys have been requesting it and here you have it. So this is the 9 June 2019 build over here. Let me show you the about section quickly. If you go into the Android version here, it shows the dark faced logo up here and the Android version shows as 9 and you can see the build date over here 9 June 2019 and over here the security patch is latest one June 5th 2019 and the stock kernel here is the AOS IP plus kernel and if I just go back if you go into the system we have the AOS IP updater over here as you can see you can check for updates from here for this kind of like the DARP specific updates and over here if you go back you have the customizations as owl inside owl's nest but let me show you the stock launcher first over here well this is the launcher launcher over here present by default if you go to the left of the home screen you have the google now cards you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen and there is double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen too let me show you the like settings if you go to the gestures here we have the double tap gesture i put it to sleep so if i just double tap right here the phone will just go to sleep so this launcher has everything so you do not need to worry about customizations over here in this launcher there are plenty of customizations present up here and now let me just go into the settings panel quickly if you go into the owl's nest here you will find all the customizations if you go into the status bar we have the status bar like icons up here like the battery percentage you can set the battery icon style to q style so it looks like uh, this over here as you can see the battery icon looks like android q pretty much and this looks pretty dope i would say let me just zoom it out and if you scroll down you will see the battery bar location and stuff like that carrier label you can customize it the clock style you can customize it too over here as you can see we have the show clock date and stuff option so you can enable this date option too if you are willing to see the dates over here on the status bar and if you go into the status bar items over here we do have the like 4g icon and stuff like that and the volt icon is present over here as you can see the volt icon shows as valid up here and the volt calls and stuff working super fine over here but let me tell you that in call ui there is no call recording option up here but there is video calling option but no call recording option is present up here in this rom and if you go into the quick settings we have this kind of quick setting panel customization we have quick pull down smart pull down you can customize the opacity of the quick settings panel and a lot of things like vibrate on toggle touch etc and we have the animations of the quick setting toggles too if you go into the notification we have the ambient music ticker heads up is there if you are willing to use it i disabled it and over here we have the notification option and battery led option is there too if you go into navigation we have this kind of navigation option if you just disable it you will like have to use this kind of navigation gesture if you just swipe from here as you can see it went back so the like full screen gestures are there but it is not quite like the edge gestures over here and you can change the portrait height and something like that of the navigation panel too and i switched the navigation panel to like inverted over here as you can see the back button is to the right and if you go to the hardware buttons we have the advanced reboot let me show you inside power menu we do have the advanced over here and you can directly reboot to recovery and fast boot and stuff like that from here let me just go back and we have the volume panel customization too if you are willing to use them and we have the like uh, screen of power like animation over here i mean the screen of animation that you can change it to crt and scale the default is simple fade over here and the recent panel customization is there you can change the recent style to pi or audio pretty simplistic and over here like the normal recent shows as like this like stock android pi something went wrong i think and you can swipe all the way up to get the like all the apps over here and if you go into not the recent into lock screen we have the like media cover art and stuff like that for lock screen and over here we do have the face auto unlock and like quick unlock over here but there is no like always use fingerprint unlock so that is a disappointment and i really miss that feature that there is no like always unlock with the fingerprint scanner even after you reboot like you have to enter the pin after you reboot over here in this rom there is no always use fingerprint scanner or fingerprint unlock option and the fingerprint scanner speed over here i just like about it like how fast it is just look at this
The finger width scanner, as you can see, is insanely fast and it unlocks the device almost right away. So that is really amazing over here. And if you go into gestures, we have the USB gestures. And from here, you will get this activate torch from the power button. And it works fine from the lock screen. And the swipe up home. And you can even use the double tap to sleep on the navigation bar. If you're using the gestures on the navigation bar. And the brightness control is there. So this is a pretty interesting feature. As you can see, you can control the whole screen brightness by just swiping on the status bar. So that is just pretty cool. And three finger screenshot gesture is there. And it is pretty quick. Just look at this. As you can see, it's fairly quick and it does not scroll, so that is pretty good. Double tap to sleep on the lock screen and the like status bar as well is there. As you can see, on the lock screen it works and even on the status bar it works flawlessly. So no issues whatsoever. And if you go to like advanced, you will find this blink flashlight on call, and there is like in call vibration stuff, and you can even like control the corner values from here. So that is pretty much it and the stock camera present up here is the MIUI camera over here as you can see and it works fine no issues whatsoever with this MIUI camera. Yes you can install Google cameras too if you want to and Google Pay and stuff like that even banking apps is working fine over here and I would say if you go into the sound settings let me show you by going into it as you can see I am in the sound settings and we do have the Dirac sound enhancer so the Mi Audio Dirac is present you can like set anything. From here and the headphone jack like the sound output via the headphone jack is pretty fine and even with bluetooth the sound output is pretty great over here you don't need to worry and if you go into the display settings and advanced you will find there are a lot of things present over here let me show you one by one we have the night light option over here so if you turn it on the display will just go yellowish so that is pretty good for night and auto brightness is working fine and over here tap to wake or double tap to wake is working fine this pocket detection is there wake up on plug is there if i disabled it by the way and inside ambient display this is like the features you get and the always on display works flawlessly you don't need to worry and even you can enable this ambient display only while when charging so that is pretty good and you can change the device theme to light dark and automatic we have the use black AF theme so it just turns the display or the themes totally black like amulet black and accent colors are there we have this kind of material palette colors and this kind of user requested colors we have the fonts option too so there are plethora of fonts over here like it's pretty much more than havoc os or pretty much close to havoc os the fonts are like too much i mean <laughs> there are a lot of options of the fonts so if you are like willing to like use any kind of font this is a perfect rom for you and that is pretty much it you can like customize the font size display size and the dpi of the screen from here and if you go into security and lock screen this is what you get so inside smart lock you do get face auto unlock if you flash it with micro g apps and by the way this rom is on pi firmware and it is running super fine and the battery life well the battery life over here in this rom is amazing here are the screenshots of the like battery life which i got over here and i would say this is pretty insane i got around eight and a half hours of screen on time with like 14 15 percent battery left so that is just amazing that you can get eight to nine hours of screen on time with this rom and the battery life i'm really enjoying this rom's battery life over here let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management you can see the android pie animations from here and let me open twitter now let's open play store this is the 4gb ram variant of the redmi note 5 pro over here by the way and over here as you can see the app open up animations are pretty fine of android pie now let me open all the apps from memory as you can see all the apps almost stays in memory and yeah all the apps stays in memory no issues whatsoever regarding the like app open up speeds at all and the ram management is super fine too you don't need to worry and the gaming performance over here is pretty fine you can play on pubg on like hd and high settings i think and the gaming performance is pretty good here is the enter to score of this rom let me quickly show you the quick settings panel over here if you like scroll down this is how the quick settings panel looks like you can just increase the brightness just by tapping on this plus and as you can see it just increased and over here you can decrease it to from here if the phone is muted it will show phone muted up here and it shows the like battery how long it will last so it shows me right now that it will last until 12 am tonight so that is pretty good that it like it's like android q so it just estimates how long the battery will last with your usage 
so that is pretty good and we have the like time over there to the left top and over here let me just go into the hotspot and show you if the like 5 gigahertz hotspot is there and as you can see yes it's there so there you have it guys the AOSIP dirt face rom is working pretty fine and yes you can install google camera too by the way over here you don't need to worry so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tiro from Kerry and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now